I think we can start our discussion. Uh, the the, the, it the uh, item of, of our workshop today is Russia in 20 years. Uh, I think it's uh, the question I impossible to answer because uh, if I take myself 20 years back, 1997, Russia was declaring that it, it wants to be part of the European Union, probably even of NATO. We drew up four spaces, common economic space, common humanitarian space, cultural space, space of uh, security. And we were on the way to very serious honeymoon. It started, it started in 2003 when P new President Putin reconfirmed his European choice went to Brussels to sign strategic uh, documents, and uh, it was, somebody doesn't like it. Uh, so in 97, so 20 years ago, to predict what, what is happening today in 2017 would be pretty uh, difficult. So it's only the options and scenario kind of a development which we can discuss today. But there are some given, the given is the present situation, and in the short term, uh, Russia is uh, uh, coming back to the international stage. Uh, as yesterday, uh, uh, during the Middle East discussion, uh, people were rightly saying that Russia is back in the Middle East through Syrian uh, uh, case. Uh, Russia um, is strong enough to, to be present in many difficult and conflict situations. Russia managed to get through um, economic uh, crisis, the first uh, stagnation, and now this year to hopefully 2% GDP growth. Russian economy is totally different from what the Soviet economy was, and it's much more flexible and uh, uh, the economy which adapts itself to the new normalcy under sanctions and, and uh, low carbon prices. That's short term today. Mid term, we see some risks and difficulties. Russian economy is not uh, what the Soviet economy was in size. I, Russia in back in 1991 was uh, still 19% of GDP. Uh, gr uh, world GDP now we are 1.5 aspiring to two. Um, and uh, the economy is not restructured. We have d definitely some serious weaknesses. Uh, and uh, we should cut ourselves to, to size in terms of our international aspiration and positioning. Long term looks uh, unknown to us as uh, uh, Ambassador Pankin, uh, Panov said today, uh, we don't know what will happen. <laughs> but uh, as Alexander II, our emperor, said, uh, the distance is our curse. The distances in 20 years will be no question, I think. We, we discussed today the intellectual, uh, uh, artificial intellect and many other things, and the, the new uh, uh, industrial revolution number four will probably make the, the distances of Russia, which was the curse in many ways, uh, not, not, not subject. So long term, we could be a leader of the Eurasia, which Zbigniew Zizinski called a key to the geopolitical control of the, uh, of the earth, uh, or we can collapse again like the Soviet Union did in 1991 if the policies are, are not right. That's also uh, a case, a scenario which uh, could be visualized. And, and to discuss all of this, we have an uh, excellent panel uh, of people who know Russia very well, both Russian and non-Russian. And uh, I think that we can easily start the discussion uh, today, uh, which probably will bring us to some more clarity on what's going to happen w with my country in 20 years.